What is going on guys? This is Ben here. In today's video, we finally reached our first time ever in Silver League here. As you can see, there is a new chest. Um, it looks like the has okay, the, the old bronze chest had a brown shield in its little chest there. The Silver League has a silver front plating chest there, or the silver shield. And then if we scroll up even further, the gold chest obviously has the gold one. On the Silver League, you actually do get better rewards. So you can see our clan cards. We have a level 3 Mega Knight already. Uh, so for legendaries, you get more cards per chest. The more leagues you go up higher. So with leagues, the higher league you are, the better amount of cards you or the more amount of cards you get. So keep that in mind. I was unaware of that um, yesterday when I said, oh, I don't know if it's possible to get past level 2 legendaries. In Bronze League, I don't think it is, but once you move up to Silver Leagues, since you get more cards, I think it is. So we're actually playing 2v2 Double Elixir here, or we're waiting for a clanmate for 2v2 Double Elixir. We're rocking a P.E.K.K.A. I'll show you guys right here. A P.E.K.K.A. NATO deck. If you guys want a pair and have a really good counter, or like good counters to everything, your opponent, or your, not your opponent, your, your clanmate that you're rocking with, if he uses a Golem, Tornado, and Baby Dragon kind of battle deck, maybe Double Prince in there, you guys have a lot of counters for almost anything because you have a P.E.K.K.A. and a Golem and it's a really tough battle deck to stop. Alvita is actually running a P.E.K.K.A. Okay, um, we'll see what happens. So with double P.E.K.K.A.s, that's still very solid as well. Uh, the, guys, the, the Hunter is a very strong card too. Like, he's very nasty, does a lot of damage up front. So we have a Minor Balloon going in. I'm actually going to rock a Poison. The Executioner is going to be a tough card for us to deal with if he does have the actual if he actually does have the tornado which he does okay so i'm actually chilling at double i'm sitting at 10 elixir here sorry i'm used to not double elixir he's gonna rock the pekka this is where norton like tornadoes are so so prevalent i'm gonna actually have to get this off the tower are so prevalent in like like i, I highly recommend you guys use them because they're so good in uh 2v2s they're, they're versatile, you can take care of almost anything. They're just, I think they're pretty much like almost a must have. If that is, if we could say that is a thing in Clan Wars. Uh, sadly the balloon actually didn't even get a, get a hit off. That really is a little bit annoying there. And he's got a Lava Hound. So I'm gonna actually gonna have to, hopefully he doesn't drop the P.E.K.K.A. Uh, I mean, double push P.E.K.K.A.s are, are not the best, but we'll see what can happen here. We do have a... I'm going to have to log all this. We do have a decent air counters. Might as well as Tornado. I missed the balloon, but that's fine. It's going to drop, and then we still have a massive... Well, not anymore. The... The reason why the double P.E.K.K.A. I mean, we still have a P.E.K.K.A. alive, but we're trying to get to this tower, but we can't. It's, it's tough for us, man. So, double pack is coming out. That hog rider didn't even get to the tower. Wow. That was awesome. So, we have 56 seconds left. I'm actually going to do a risky play here and tornado this executioner right in front of us here. So, our Pekkas can take care of him, hopefully. There we go. While they are tornadoing over here, we have to defend on this side. Used my tornado. So a lot of NATOs coming out. Coming down to the chip here. Throwing down the double P.E.K.K.A.s. Executioner coming in. So we got our double King Towers activated. We have some nasty push potential right now. I'm just going to cycle my poison. We need to try and get some tower damage. He wants to fireball that. I'm cool with that, man. I'm cool with anything right now because we are in a very good spot. We have a better cycle than them at the moment. We finally hit our stride with Velveeta. The Velveeta cheese. That's the first tower we got with the balloon. The first time the balloon actually got to the tower, man. It was a struggle to get that there. <sighs> <sighs> Telling you, man. Tornadoes, you want to use them. So we got it, though. We got our we got our chest here. So we can get a legendary. A lot more cards than before. So there we go. Our second ever Clan War Day legendary. Thank you. Let's hopefully we get... I would love to see an Electro Wizard, because I know a lot of my clan members would like that as well. Maybe even, what would we have so far? We have a Giant Balloon. Lava Hound would be nice too. We could do Lava Loon, because we have the Minion Horde. It's a Miner. Miner's pretty useful too, because we, we, ha we have some decent. We already had the Miner. Um, so far, our biggest tank is going to be that Giant though, or the Mega Knight. 
Mega Knight level 3 is pretty nasty. So, uh, we'll see what happens for a double, regular, double, I was going to say regular double, regular 2v2. See if anyone in the clan's got the golem battle like stacked up. Because the golem baby dragon is nasty. There we go. See what happens. Velveeta again. Okay, so we are going to be, this time it's going to be a little bit slower paced. I forgot, you guys know how I was sitting at 10 elixir for a while last match? I totally forgot we were in double elixir 2v2. It kind of caught me off guard. Um, I don't want to have to drop my executioner, but I'm going to right now. It's probably a, I'm probably going to regret this. Because I'm probably the, with my cards, it's, I'm the main guy that's going to be taking care of, of the swarmy stuff. Which is okay. But at the same time, it leaves us in a bad spot. My opening hand is more of a defensive one. It's not really a best, the best opening hand. Or, I mean, aggressive hand. Uh, I, w I could tornado that executioner, but I'm just going to leave it. I'm telling you guys, most people run executioner because, or executioner nato, or even two tornadoes sometimes because it's so, so strong. So we're going with our P.E.K.K.A. We got Hog Rider over here. I could turn that onto the King Tower, but I'm not going to. I just don't want that Hog Rider getting hits on our tower as much. P.E.K.K.A still made it through that. Oh my gosh. We're going to get some nice tower damage over there. That's probably good. That's going to be the... Oh my gosh. So good opening push by us. Yes, we did take some damage on the left-hand side. But we were able to fend off and do very well right now. Um, we'll eat the flying machine. It's not gonna do much. I don't really know, man. I'm just gonna split push some cards. Don't have the greatest push potential. Go over here. Yep. Okay. I don't have my NATO. Tornado. NATO. The NATO base. That might get tornadoed over there. Unless you let the executioner go. Okay. I'm gonna have to poison this. Um, it seems as though we're in a decent spot, but I am really worried. I am very worried, I should say, about that, uh, the graveyard. We haven't activated our King Towers yet. I didn't really have the best opportunity to stop him at the... Okay, good. We got the P.E.K.K.A. dropping over there. So we're pushing on both sides with the P.E.K.K.A. The freeze did come out. Uh-oh. So they invested a lot of elixir on that push. We're going to have to surrender that tower. Try and get in here. I didn't realize we had two miners going over there. <laughs> uh, our P.E.K.K.A. is still alive, but they have the freeze. This is going to be not good for us. Man, oh man, dude. We tried our best. Now we're gonna get tor I had to, I probably should have saved that tornado. That one was on me. So now we're gonna get frozen here. Hog Rider gonna get through, right? Yeah. So not the best. We did get another legendary though. <laughs> back to back legendaries here. Let's see what we get. There we go. We got what we called for. We got our Electro Wizard. Got some more minion hordes, I think. So even though with the loss, it's okay. We got some clan cards. Um, I'll try 2v2 again. The reason why I like playing 2v2s on the main is because if we win them, because 2v2s are really important because you want to win them to try, because if you, if you win, you get two wins, which is very good. And with me having the max cards, I think it's very helpful. Playing once again, though, with Velveeta here. All three matches. Let's see if we can pull it out here. Lin and Yule Quellet. Fabi. An Elixir Collector. So, they for... We're, we're on the... I'm going to actually... Oops. I, I said... I was like, oh, why would we double push the same P.E.K.K.A.s on each lane? 
Well, that was my mistake. I didn't even see it was out there. So we're going to have to deal with a lot here. Double princes. We'll have guards, though. Okay. Got a balloon coming out. Just poison them. Hopefully the balloon gets to the tower. It doesn't look like it will. So they stopped our balloon, but they didn't get any tower damage here. Now they will. And they're going to have the tornado. Alright, so... I'll just follow them up here. If needed, I'll throw down some guards. Which I think I will. A lot of elixir on board, guys. They're they're really trying to go all in. They both have tornadoes. They're both rocking the same battle deck. That's why tornadoes are so powerful. Sitting at 10 elixir though, man. I gotta drop it. I didn't want to have to drop my poison. Get some nice death damage in there though. <sighs> These double princes, dude, are nasty. We're gonna get that tower, or not. They zapped it at the right moment. Well, we're shutting them down. Our double princes, or not ours, their double princes. Pretty, pretty solid. Uh, I'm gonna throw the peck in the middle. Just need to guard this one. We just need to zap it and we got it. Zapping's gonna get it. There we go. So. That was crazy. We had the good counters. Let's see if we can make it three out of three legendaries. I, I'm going to stand by the fact though. earlier in the war, you have a way better shot of getting legendaries. So I just got two in a row. Not three in a row, but still double legendaries from war day. We got Dark Prince. I really like that. Dark Prince is such a strong card. Maybe we had him already, but I don't know. We got some in the, in the chest. So to get him a higher level would be nice. So yeah, you can see the card level is already skyrocketing. Got the Electro Wizard, some legendaries. Okay. I would love to see like a P.E.K.K.A. Well, I mean, I guess we could do like a giant fireball. We, we need more spells. Um, It's going to be interesting, the battle like, that we come up with. We could do like Mega Knight Balloon something. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But now we're actually going to head over. I, I could open this. I really could, but I'm going to save it for the fact that there's new cards coming out soon hopefully soon i mean they, they already sneak peeked it but we haven't heard any news on that i'm gonna assume probably thursday is when we'll see the challenge in game for the new card which is gonna be probably the rascals or the bubble double trouble bubble gummers whatever you want to call them but okay switching accounts all right so here we go on the on the other account you can see the this is our last war um, obviously our shield is bronze or gold silver <laughs> said all gold silver bronze the last one um, is obviously now it's silver even though before we were in the bronze league so that pushed us into the next one got us over the hump we have 710 and there is our new chest unlocked should have maybe started with this account because we would have saw that <laughs> uh, so we have 2v2 live that I could play with my clan uh, I'm gonna have to try and see if anyone in the clan wants to play. See what's up. Let's see if we can get some more legendaries. All right, so we got a member. I'm I'm rocking golem this time. So maybe they'll be rocking golem too. All right, good. This is perfect. Golem and Pekka pair really well together. I'm gonna be probably the underleveled one. 
But good luck here. Actually, no, I'm not. I, I keep forgetting. I'm not on my level eight account. But you're on your you're on your good account. So we have a Pekka for the giant. That's gonna be really really nice. Uh, they do have a bomber. Bomber's interesting. It's a very tough card to deal with. It's like for real. And I'm just gonna execute the rocket the executioner because it's too good. It's too good of a card. Oh, uh, well, you see, we got a lot of swarm over here. So I, sadly, we don't have the luxury of using an Executioner right now. But we do have three Musketeers and a P.E.K.K.A., which is going to be really, really awesome. Uh, I'm not going to zap that. I could, but I just need to... This isn't Double Elixir. I actually prefer 2v2 Double Elixir. I think it's a lot more fun. But the regular Double Elixir itself is still really, really strong. And they have a Graveyard. With our King Towers being activated, it's going to be really key. This is a risky play, though. But I feel confident that we have our King Towers activated. So, if they were to Graveyard, it's not the end of the world. Now they have to deal with a split push. Oh my gosh. They do have a lot of Swarm, though. So it depends what side he drops his Executioner. It really does. That's what I'm kind of waiting for. Jeez, man. So Golem did get to the tower. Um, I was gonna rock it, but I don't need to. That's really good. Well played. If they giant this, okay, yeah, this is gonna get Oh, the value. Oh my gosh, man. And they all got stuffed behind that giant and we just got the biggest value rocket could have gotten this match. Oh, that was awesome. Okay, so now we hit double elixir. I'm gonna be a little bit more aggressive with my golem because I might have to defend some things. He's got three musketeers. I totally forgot about that. That's gonna be tough for them to deal with. Sadly, my, they're in front of my golem, which is gonna suck a little bit because the executioner that's okay. I don't have my cycle rockets yet. Uh, we just really need to shut them down. Guess I'll. Oh my god, there's so much elixir over here. I'm gonna tornado these. I don't want that hog rider. I don't want them any. I don't want there any chance of this hog rider getting a hit on our tower. So four seconds left to zap all this stuff, man. Get out of here. It's a good game. We clutched up. We're rocking the two v twos. Now you know the drill. See if we can get that double legendary. Or not double legendary, the third legendary that I've got. Those cards are really bad. I mean, the, the knight was nice, but everything else, furnace, bowler, I mean, okay. Well, that was not some good cards that we got there. So, cards coming in. How much do we have so far? 16,000 total cards. That's about, on, like, on average, you get like 19 to 20,000. We would on in Bronze League. And there's still so many battles we have yet to do. So the stakes are higher. I'm going to battle again. See if anyone else has 2v2 attacks. Which they do. Uh, I, I personally, I just like 2v2. I do. I love it for Clan Wars. Lobo. The XD Smile. Mariko. 845. Marikio. Ooh. So Zap will take care of that. He's going in. So am I. Gonna rocket over there. So they they logged rocketed. That that rocket. So we got a little bit of advantage over there. They didn't really need to, but they did. Oh my gosh, there's so much swarm going down here. So they uh, are they both running log bait? I'm pretty sure they are. Okay, so that one's gonna get rocketed. This is two v two double elixir. We have a nasty push upcoming. I don't have a sadly. I don't have a log. I would love a log right now. 
He's so awesome. I have to be careful about how much I drop though, because we know they have the rocket. And like the, for reasons like that, they get so much value out of those rockets. Look at all these freaking goblins, dude! My gosh! So intimidating seeing all of them. Oh no, their King Tar got activated by the Miner. That one might hurt a little bit. But we got so much tower damage over there. With that Witch and all on the right hand side. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Thought that Pekka was gonna go on the same side. He was starting to walk. That tornado was absolutely useless. I was trying to predict if they were gonna drop more skeletons or something. Or not skeletons, uh, whatever they're called. I don't know their name. Man, we cannot get it. We cannot burst through here. I think they're trying to trying to cycle some stuff here. That's not enough. Oh my gosh, let's go. They were trying to cycle the rockets and cycle down the tower. We had no business winning that one. Let's see if we can get another legendary, come on. Okay, more Dark Prince. We'll take it. So that gets him um, to level five. Wow, that one was clutch. That really, really was. If we had draft, I would actually do the draft. So we're done with 2v2. Play some double elixir. See what we're up against. Watch, you're gonna be playing that Pekka. Good luck. Trophies seem fair. Hmm. Bats. Hmm. Maybe. Giant. The mini P.E.K.K.A is just throwing me off, dude. <sighs> okay, so we're gonna rocket that. Throw it on our nice, young golem. Pristine-looking golem. I'm actually kinda glad. You might hear a lot more in the back around. I mean, we don't have our lawn yet, but our neighbors do. We're just gonna log all that, or not log all this. Tornado all that together. Some nice double prints. Well, actually, no, I don't have my, I don't have my regular prints in here. It's a change. Chloe, Chloe, come here. Chloe, come here. Chloe. Well. We're gonna have to deal with Chloe this time around, ladies and gents, boys and girls. Dang it, it got to the tower. At least we don't have to worry about the mini P.E.K.K.A this time around, just the regular P.E.K.K.A. Come on, that's in rocket range now.
All right, so we're just trying to hold out. Trying to save my rocket. This will be a perfect time for him to actually push the other lane. But we're good. One second left. So we got it, even though with this little rascal, she's in here now, barking up the storm, barking at the neighbor, cutting the grass. I don't know. I'll probably turn down the volume for you guys because it's probably loud. I'll have to see. But okay. Legendary? So no legendary. So we did end up getting two on the main account. Again, we get the bowler. Did get more giants though. So we can like get a crazy level giant. That would be nice. We got our victories. Um, we only lost one match today. Not bad. Not bad. Double legendaries. We are in the silver league. To get to silver two, we need to be 900, but honestly being in these leagues doesn't matter for the rewards that we get. We, are auto we automatically get the best chest in silver league now because we won our first. So we get a one in five chance of getting that legendary. Hopefully we have more luck this time, but let me know how you guys are enjoying Clan Wars. Um, as you go up in the, see the chest glitch a little bit? Because it depends on where you, where you look at it. See how the chest is like transparent through there? Mm, it's kind of interesting, but uh, as you go up through the leagues, your rewards do get better um, and a way better chance to get a legendary, I think, than the clan chest. And you still do get gold for victory gold for battling. Uh, collection day, you get 150. War day, you get 300. So those adds up over time as well. Keep that in mind. Um, so because I know a lot of people were complaining about the amount of gold, but you still get them for, for winning attacks and stuff. Uh, but other than that, we're going to wrap it up here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know how Clan Wars are going for you guys. Stay tuned. Subscribe for more. Once we get more information on that new card that's coming, I'm going to assume it's probably going to be dropping. Like, we'll see in-game the new card challenge, hopefully, because they already sneak peeked it. And then probably be a new challenge to win the new card, the Rascals or whatever. If you don't know what that is, check it out. But subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later.